Hello one and all and welcome to the first of possibly multiple um, episodes of me going through itch.io picking out random games, random horror in this case because I've been meaning to play some horror games, it's been a while and I'm on my own so I can be as loud as I want to be. Ha. Um, yeah, I play through them, give them a see how they are Maybe a little bit of a review sort of thing, given I have a bit of experience doing game dev myself. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Anyway, first off, we bring to you Five Nights Among Us. Because <laughs> it seems kind of meme -y. You got a Mogus right there. Um, by Team Alert. That is T E E M O L E R T. And uh, in case you want to play any of these yourself, I will have the links to them in the description. And yeah, feel free to go check them out. So there is no menu music, but meh, who cares? So, money. Okay, good. <laughs> I just crapped out for a minute. This was made on the Godot engine, which I am pleased to see because not a lot of uh, 3D projects come out of that. And it's a welcome change from Unity and Unreal, the two big ones. Anyway, new game. Cool. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello, crewmate, and welcome to your first day on the job at the Skeld International Security System. Nice. Your work today will be done at the Skeld, a ship in outer space. Uh, he's an electrical. Listen, Trust. A red imposter has been spotted on the ship. And legend has it that he will come into your office and suss on you, like the imposter. <laughs> and suss on me. I suggest that you close the doors to stop him from sussing on you. If you would like to track the imposter through the ship, you can use the cameras. You can change what camera you're viewing on the left-hand side of the monitor. Yeah. Make sure you watch that young susser, or else it oh, may crap, be moved. you. Oh, and lastly, it's at night, the Skeld goes into reserve power mode. This means that you have a limited amount of electricity flowing throughout the building. Beware, if you use too much power, the entire place will go dark, leaving you vulnerable to imposter attacks. Oh, crap. Then. Good luck. How similar is this to FNAF? Oh, okay. Cool. If he's in the vent, what do I do? What? Okay, sorry. Cool. What? He's a cheeky bugger. Also, you'll notice my webcam glitches a lot. I mention this pretty much every time because I haven't got. Because I haven't gotten a new. Crap, he's moved. Because I haven't gotten a new one yet. I do need to, and I will eventually. Hopefully that's the problem and that therefore that's the solution. Is he still there? I kind of don't want to open the door yet. <laughs> huh. Where'd he go? If I had to comment, so first of all, I like the camera system. I really like it. I also like the camera movement. Wait. Okay, good. I was going to say I wasn't doing anything. Um, map's a little empty. I saw that. <laughs> map's a little empty, but like in terms of rooms. But, you know, that's whatever. Again, if he's in there, what do I do? But otherwise, it's actually pretty cool, and I like that it's based on the game. I haven't actually played Among Us ever once, not even like the free version on mobile or anything. It's until six, right? Oh, no crap. I don't know how many uh, nights I'll play, because <laughs> the thing is with like the FNAF series, you know, there's added complex complexity console. There's added complexity throughout each night. You've got, you know, you start with basically just Bonnie, 
Then you move into Chica as well, then Foxy becomes an element, then you got Freddy from a night three. Wait. Something's crapping out. Uh, being sabotaged, that is. Wait, does this light up when I light up? Ah. That's cool. What the hell? Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how many of these I'll play, how many nights I'll play, considering seems there's just one guy. In the thumbnail... No, I can't really click off, because I'll probably lose... I saw, I think, a blue one. Could be interesting. But yeah, we've only got, what, an hour and a half left, as it were, which seems to be a minute and a half left, therefore, and I've got 80% power. What the hell? Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> Did not like that noise. Pressing on buttons. Indicators what the buttons mean would be nice, but you know. It is what it is. I guess because it's based on, based on FNAF, you need to you meant to know what things are. And it also might have a tutorial on the web page. I on the um itch page I didn't actually check. <laughs> How good. Good uh, game reviewer right here. <laughs> I'm watching you, mate. Oh, Gokuna. Maybe the... I mean, I'm the opposite blue. Maybe, so maybe that's what it was, the pictures. Maybe they add more in the future because it seems... So Cafe is used, but upper engine doesn't seem to be, nor does this. So hopefully... Ah. I just... Alright, let's do one more. Yeah, pick hello, up the phone. Hello, hello. What's up? Uh, hey, we survived the first night at the Schkeld. There's another. Good job, buddy. Listen, the people at Polis just got their test results back, and it shows that the imposter will get more active as the week progresses. Okay. Now, okay, this more. wouldn't be so bad if it was just one imposter. You could just keep track of him and close the door whenever you see him. But, there have been reports of a second imposter on the ship. Mm -hmm. This one supposedly goes through the vents and is scared of light. So maybe you can turn on that light above the vents to keep him away. Okay. Good luck, crewmate. Good luck. Oh, okay. Does that... Maybe I have to wait for him to actually get in. There's a uh, red still there. Cool. Okay, well that has added stuff. It's off. Holy crap. All right, <laughs> I lose. Um, let's see if I can finish this one second night. I was gonna say um, in the event that I was just gonna keep like winning and there wasn't actually a new guy that I was going to intentionally die to see what the jump scare was like. Do I have to now? How good? He's scared of light or whatever the hell. But how do I deal with him? Because I need to focus more on... Okay, in the event that he's there, I'm just going to close. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay, I can get a strategy out of this. Okay, he's in calf. Calf then goes to whatever this room is. Where's a uh, ready boy? Oh 
Okay, he's there. Vent Man is not here yet. I've lost red. Other than the fact that each room looks the damn same. <laughs> um, I actually like the sort of door and hallway. Oh, crap. Um, designs. And I don't mind the shape of the room, let's say. Alright, let's see if I can survive this night. Oh. There's, um... Big Red. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, what I also like about this... It's genuinely startling. So... Let me think if I can express this in a analytical way. Okay, I'm going to compare this game to Five Nights at Freddy's naturally because it's Five Nights at Freddy's clone. It's it's based on you know. So in five, you've got there's a great video um, analyzing the sound of Five Nights at Freddy's, and he goes into the different kinds of sound. How you've got the actual informational sound, so the sound of footsteps, Freddy laughing as he moves that sort of thing. Then you've got El or um, Chica in the kitchen. This is just Five Nights 1. I'm ignoring the rest. Actually, I'm, I will bring up Five Nights 2 because Five Nights 2 does have the uh, like danger sound from... Oh, what is it? When someone gets like kind of closer, you hear like the... Ring, ring. Editing soul. Put the sound in. How good. Anyway, that. You hear that. And that tells you you're in danger. There's something you need to be aware of. This game, for better or worse, lacks any sort of audio feedback. So I was going to initially mention that as a detriment to the game because you don't have that sort of atmosphere. You do get it with the um, stuff when you, you put a light on it, it makes like that, that buzzing. So you get the lights buzzing, which is pretty cool. Obviously, you get the actual... You get the vic oops. You get the victory theme and you've got the death theme. But other than that, you don't hear anything. Oh, that's if he hits the door or if he leaves from the vent. Those two as well. But other than that, you don't hear a lot. So from clicking around, trying to find the people, you don't know when they've moved. You don't know if they're right outside your door, even when you turn the light on, until you see them. And then you don't know that they're gone until you actually hear. That's when you get the sound in it. So it doesn't have the same sort of atmospheric creepiness with like just random ambiance and sounds of movement that you don't know where the movement is. But I have not expected like any of these jump scares yet. Um, the first red one I saw or almost did because I was semi ex um, expecting him to come from the right and I was going to have a look. There he is. Close the door. But he got to me before I actually got to have a look. I clicked the light. And before I got there, I got shanked through the chest. So even without the use of very loud noises and very sudden images that, oh, well, it's spooky. And it's very faithful to the game, in fact, in that he just pops up, opens, and does the uh, tongue stab. That sounds awful. <laughs> but I like that. I actually I like it because, yeah, you don't, you don't see this coming. All right, let's see if I can survive it. Where is Redman? Okay, whatever I said about there not being any ambient sounds, I take back. That was terrifying. Should be good. Go away. I've got like six seconds. Six seconds now. Please leave. Uh, if there's anything new in Night 3, I'll keep going. If it's just the same but harder, um, I might just cop the L and move on. Hey, 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 crewmate. That's pink. You survived your second night. <laughs> huh. Listen, I really hate to say this, but there's a third imposter on the ship tonight. 
the people over at Polis haven't been able to figure out what this one does, so you're on your own tonight. Okay. I trust that you'll survive this. Uh, good luck, crewmate, and goodbye. I need to keep an eye on what this guy does. I've got three things to pay attention to now. Is that him gone? Cool, where's Red? Am I about to die? Oof, I was about to die. Purple's just sitting there. And by purple, I mean pink. He's more of a pink. Magenta, even. Nah. No, they're both there. I see him. What's he doing there? He's kind of hard to see. Oh, he's an upper. Okay. Okay. He probably comes... He's probably an unknown. Okay. Crap, I've got to watch both then. Oh crap, he's in the... the... vent. If I see him move... If he if he moves, I'm closing the door. Mm, go away. Oh, they're both there. Interesting. They're just sitting there. <laughs> no, but he's, but he's still there, though. Okay. That's it? He's gone? Yeah. Okay. Cool. We can do this. Oh, they... Ah. Okay, yeah, so this game's not bad. Um, <laughs> My theory is it's three people, and then it just gets harder and harder. So, same thing as before, unless there's a fourth guy that I have to worry about. Oh my gosh, if there's a fourth guy, it's gonna, I'm going to just die. I will cop the L. What do you got? You got pink, he's already on the move. You got red. Uh, uh, hello, crewmate. What's up? Your HQ has been infected with imposters. And I, I fear that I may not be able to record these messages for you anymore. No, 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 no! <laughs> that was so worthwhile. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I stayed here. <laughs> oh, that's the classic. I love it. Oh, go away. <laughs> I can't even take this game seriously anymore. That's fantastic. Alright. Um, yeah, it seems that it's just the same. If I can orchestrate it, I am going to die to purple. Pink, whatever, you know. Oh, that's happened. Cool. Well, that was fun, actually, like legitimate, legitimately enjoyable. Um, <laughs> oh, the voice acting guy, that was, I liked it. <laughs> um, yeah, so a bit more art assets, I reckon, and maybe a little bit of just kind of a bit more in the way of ambient noise. Stuff that kind of keeps you on edge. Because I got to a point, as we all saw, effectively, where it's... I'm watching three cameras. And I know even in FNAF 1, it turned into... Uh, FNAF 2 is even worse, really. FNAF 1, it turned into Watch Pirate Cove. And then in the later nights when you had Freddy to deal with, it was Watch... Whatever the bottom right one's called, I forget what it's called. It's like the, the corner one there. Because that's where he goes to, and that's outside your office. And when you keep your eye on him, you can't move. And then people figured out that Foxy doesn't have to be watched specifically. Like, you don't have to watch Pirate Cove. You can just use the cameras. So then it was just watch the one, close your doors, or lights. Check the camera, check your lights, etc. Um, so... This game kind of got to that point as well, where it was... Like, I was watching the vent camera, 
and I would toggle between the bottom left and the top left um, to see red and pink. But yeah, not bad. But especially like as far as indie games go, especially based on kind of two really popular things and trying to put them together, it was well done. Um, I appreciated the like the setting and the characters, the art and all that was actually rather nice. Again, like I said, the jump scares actually creep up on you. And it's not just loud noise, which a number of jump scares tend to be. It's like unsettling image, loud noise. Um, so I appreciated them actually popping up doing the animation. And I like this little you lose thing with the bone and everything. That's great. It's actually great. Could use menu music. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you put, but even just something ambient, like, um, well, I guess the, I guess the game doesn't actually have music except for introduction, victory, getting killed, it's that sort of like the interactive things. So I think even if it was just like the sound of, um, yeah, like they actually. I mildly take back my point because they had the sabotage sound going off and that meant nothing, which is fine because it doesn't have to, but it kept me on edge because it's like, what if it does mean something? But given the simplistic assets, it almost guaranteed to mean nothing. <laughs> Still, I did enjoy this game. Um, it's a quit button. That's, um, what do you call it? game dev like rookie error number one not having a quit button so you have to like you know alt f4 or control shift delete to leave yeah that was good um yeah good work team alert if that's how it's pronounced it might be team alert i don't speak french nor will i ever anyway good fun let's move on to another one already interesting Welcome to quit it. Quit it. Welcome to uh, apparently this is Leniburg. I don't know what language this is meant to be. <laughs> uh, so yeah, first chapter demo. This is a demo, not the full release. It's by an Alexander Bazhenov. It sounds Russian. Anyway, overthinking it. Let's get into the game. I don't know what the hell this fox-looking thing is, but it scares me. You need to use headphones to play. Sound is your weapon. Oh, crap. Press and hold E to interact with ne nearby objects. <laughs> Gonna need it. What is my objective? Oh, thank you. <laughs> that gives me an objective first. Main task is to survive as long as possible. You need to listen carefully to where the monster runs to try to and to try to close the window in a timely manner so that it cannot climb into the house. To close the window, you need to hold down the E button I do like that it's got that in capitals. There's a lot of games, or like, you know, you watch people playing video games, and it's like, oh, I was tapping it, or whatever. And yeah, it's nice that it's very clear. This demo is impossible to pass. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so no matter what, we have to uh, get jump scared. By Mr. Boog. Leany Boog. I'm, you know, okay. Me, make this short. I'm gonna look up what the hell this means. I'm going to use my Russian dictionary and see if anything comes up. Hopefully at some point I can find out what the hell it means, because that would be cool. Anyway, main task is to survive. have to listen out. To, to listen to where he is to run and close the window. So he can't climb into the house. Once he climbs into the house, I guess I lose. To close the window, hold down the E button. I'll admit I'm a little confused. The hell? Holy crap! What do I do? <laughs> He's already in. Okay, well. I guess we're screwed. <laughs> Oh, 
pro tip, apparently. <laughs> Don't go into that dark room. <laughs> Alright, take two. Let's, let's give this an honest college try, as they say. What am I... Alrighty. Oh, there's an upstairs. Are there more windows? Oh, crap, there are. No, 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 no. Okay. I like the aesthetics. It's a lot more fleshed out. That being said, I can't actually it's like a little boop sound but I don't think oh crap okay well turning my headphones down because <laughs> I turn them up to try and hear anything okay so there's like a little which I think is the door opening or window opening how much time do I have you know what let's play some Japanese <laughs> Let's see how much I understand, because it's all going to have like kanji and stuff that I can't read. Uh, example, uh, I believe that's asobimas. No idea. Um, I'm first I'm going to quit though. Uh, I didn't actually read. Something not. Also something not demo. How good. It's come to my attention. This is not actually visible because my head ass is blocking it. Wait. There we are. <laughs> yeah, this first one. Koi voice. Alright, let's get me back in the corner. How good. Asobimasu! Game will start! Hai! Ikimasho! I wish I could sprint. Oh, <laughs> Gosh. Okay, that legitimately scared me. I thought I was done. Who? Who? Yeah, that's the sound of me legitimately scared. Like, actually, I'm all goosebumpy. I don't. You probably won't be able to see, even if I got close. Who? Who? Oh, I haven't been scared like that in a bit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> My goodness. Ugh. Oh my gosh, once my heart settles down. Oh, okay. Wow, sorry neighbors, just in case. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, no, that actually <clears throat> legitimately startled me. Okay, um, let's turn that back down. <laughs> All right, so, hinto oto wa anata no something desu. I probably should have kept this in uh, English. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Um, so, man, that's going to take me a little bit to settle down. <laughs> so, well, um, I thought it was once the window is closed, like I'm actually shaking, once the window's, like, closed rotationally or locationally, like, once you, know, you, you hit that point, you're free to go. So I was under the impression that hold E means if the door, if the window's, let's go, if the window's like this, so if the window's down and then you press E, it's going to be like, oh, that's not enough. And then you lose or something. I thought therefore hold E meant hold. Once you hit there, you're good. Uh, clearly I wasn't looking at the fact that this needs to be green because red is when he comes out. So... Oh. I'm 
I'm going to give this at most two more tries. I'm going to give it at, le at most two tries. If I can't beat 60 seconds in two tries, that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was spooky. Oh, it was not ready for that. Yeah, it says to hold it, but try to close the window, but it doesn't, I guess, partially my fault for not appreciating what close the window meant. It's not just, but it's actually like, lock the window. Lock the cat's bar. Before I hit play, <laughs> so I'm gonna stall this as long as I can before I hit play. Something I was gonna say was gonna say initially. So the first time, obviously that I played this, when um, I found the window that was open after figuring out that the mm. meant that it was open, and then he was just kind of like spidering in the corner, and I'm like, oh crap, I lose. Um, I appreciated the fact that he walked slowly towards you, so it's not. Worrying. I guess it would be scarier and then also faster like in terms of I don't know how long you can outwalk him. He's probably walks faster than you, but you could artificially inflate your score by Noticing if he's in like the bottom floor and it's like oh he's in the corner I'm gonna walk up the stairs as far away as I can um, You could probably cheese him a little bit that way, but you know, that's a couple seconds um Holy crap, when he gets you at the window, that's freaking terrifying. Now that I now that I know that it happens. Cause I thought that the lose condition is he gets in the house. Not you go to close the door, don't hold it, and he gets you from the window. Now I'm actually like scared to close the window. I might as well just let him kill me. Holy crap. Oh, maybe I'm going to need this one watch. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after this round. Because the thing is, you have to walk towards the window to open it. Uh, close it. No, I hate you. I refuse. Okay, I'm just kind of learning how he works. He's in, obviously. You can see him. He hops down. Because then he... <laughs> sort of runs at you. Oh, sound is your weapon. That's what that said in Japanese. Okay, yeah, but I forgot that already. So, yeah. What the hell did I hear? <laughs> so, yeah, 26 seconds. Is that going to take me back to the words? I like it. I do like this. I like that it gives you some time to kind of mentally prepare. Okay, so... That wasn't really a good try, obviously, because I saw him at the window and ignored him intentionally. Because I wasn't sure what was going to happen if I didn't. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to wait. Uh, if I s When the window opens, I'll go over to him, even if I see his face. I'm going to hold E, wait until I see that thing go green. And hopefully I don't get the crap scared out of me again. Ugh. I don't like it. Forget how loud his footsteps were. I'm really hoping that they were loud. Because if he's upstairs and I've missed him, I want to know in advance. Oh, gosh. oh I heard that. I heard that. Booking it, booking it, booking it. Crap. Okay. I don't have, like, any time. Okay, I'm going to see how far I, I can outrun him. Okay. Not a lot. And his footsteps were audible. 
Okay, last try. I don't like those sounds. I'm going to go back to the menu like, quickly. This game is hard. Oh, that's the hover over the button sound. I'm like, you know, here's some like, oh, is that like a door? Is that steps? I'm feeling a little threatened because I have no agency because I'm just at the menu. Is it going to jump scare me again? Okay, so it says to... I kind of refuse to. Could... I don't know. It just says like close the door. Uh, close the... I keep saying door. Close the window when you hear him. At least it seems if you go to the door when it's open... Uh, see. If you go to the window while it's open... He can't get you until he gets in. And then when he gets in, it's he hops into the corner. So you've kind of got some... Why is my time at zero? Why is my time at zero still? I hate this. I like the subtle screen shake. That's not me, that's... Oh, now the timer starts. Oh, he's in. I just saw that. All right. I don't like this game. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Ugh. Voice acting coming in... I guess it's probably just... um. It'll read it out loud or something. Oh, man. I hate, I hate this. <laughs> I'm not playing, I'm not playing again. Oh my gosh. Pretty though, it's a pretty game. It'll look legitimately terrifying if you don't do the door properly, the window properly. Oh. All right. Next one I will play is Scary Labyrinth. Um, oh, let's do. Well, let's save it at fastest. What have we got? Waz. Left mouse, right mouse, your standard. Submit. I love that word. Yeah, standard stuff. Cool. Oh, personal edition. Uh, so this is Scary Labyrinth by. I'm guessing Diadas. It's D I A D A S. The screen's white. <laughs> That's not responding. Okay. Um, just gonna kind of do a quick close. We'll try again. Let's try it on fantastic. Graphics. Let's do fantastic. Maybe that's the difference. Oh crap. I'm in. So it says you're in a labyrinth with a battery, a limited battery. Once the battery runs out, you're a dead man. I'm guessing that's what the bottom left is. I don't know what I'm trying to do, to be honest. It's a bit freaking loud. There we go. What's this? Oh! What the hell? It's one of the first Unity projects I ever did, 2016, you know? Alright. Props to um, initial ingenuity. Things I would like to see. So you can turn your flashlight off. I don't know why you ever would. I also don't know what the hell I'm trying to do. You can press shift to walk a little bit faster. Um, Catherine, that was. <laughs> Someone else mentioned this in one of the comments. Oh, that's fine. It's, you know, it's a first project. I'm not going to criticize anyone too harshly. The um, rock textures, even the, even the models for the walls, not too bad. It just says that I have a limited battery doesn't mention anything about um, uh, 
like an exit. I think it's just that I'm stuck in a thing. Oh, I'm not ready for this. This might actually be legitimately scary. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I don't know what to do. No, legit, what do I do? Oh, I hear it. Oh, well, I found it. It's... Is that the same... Is that the same... Oh, it just starts again. Okay, no, shut up. <laughs> Let me think this. Okay, is that the same head as in Anna? Yeah, again, as far as um, a first project goes. All right, well, that was a good three games. Um, that friggin' wolf one, what was it called? Boog? Leany Boog? Already played. Leany Boog. Oh, terrifying. What was that one called? Scary Labyrinth. Yeah. Terrifying. Ooh. Um, but yeah, not bad. And the Scary Labyrinth, there's not a lot to critique because <laughs> there's not a lot to praise that sounded really mean i'm sorry no there's just not a lot to the game that's fine um the scare wasn't too bad because it was just the head like you could tell that it was just the head and it's not like they i mean they could have but it's not like they tried to obscure the maybe they maybe they did disregard this entire point but the scare was good um there was a bit of tension when the flashlight went out because i was like oh you know it says when the flashlight gets out runs out the monster will come get you whatever it was um and she did but i was like oh you know as a first project maybe it's like bugged or something because it took a while um but no she definitely did come and you could hear her approaching it was like this sort of <sighs> it's very good yeah that was interesting and this was fun for a first time doing a sort of like three spooky games. And again, that second thing was legitimately scary. I... Oh man, I'm going to cringe when I'm editing this video. <laughs> I'm glad I did not do this live. <laughs> All right. Oh, that'll do it. Um, thanks for watching. Let's make myself big. Well, hi. Hey. Thanks for watching. Um, might do another one of these. Who knows? Might not. <laughs> this is the first try. We'll see how people respond to it. I thought it was interesting, and it was fun to show off indie projects, considering I'm an indie developer myself. Um, feels good to... I don't know if this counts as support in the community. So I didn't pay for any of these, because they're all free. But hey. I'm showing some people off, giving them a bit of attention. Catch you in the next video I do, whatever it is. Peace out. And hopefully one day I'll get a better webcam that doesn't keep glitching and such.